In this video, we are overclocking the AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 9975WX all the way up to 5625MHz using the ASUS Pro WS WRXE Sage SE motherboard and custom loop water cooling. I'll speedrun you through the BIOS and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't just copy the settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this CPU, have a look at the longer scatter video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to the AI tweaker menu. Set AI overclock tuner to Expo. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5, 7600 and associated voltage and timings. Switch to the advanced menu. Enter the AMD overclocking submenu. This will provide us with all the advanced AMD CPU overclocking tools. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 toolkit to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 boosting algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters, PPT, TDC, and EDC, according to the motherboard auto rules. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scalar Control to Manual. That enables us to override the warranted silicon stress level, or FIT, which is one of the precision boost limiters governing the maximum allowed operating voltage. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scalar to 10x. Now, the maximum voltage when all 32 cores are active is 1.365 volt, up 55 millivolt from the default limit of 1.31 volt. Set CPU boost clock override to enabled positive. That unlocks the ability to increase the CPU's programmed Fmax or maximum frequency up to 200 megahertz in steps of 25 megahertz. For multi-CCD Ryzen Threadripper 9000 CPUs, it's crucial to know that each CCD has its own Fmax and the override applies to both CCDs independently. Set Max CPU Boost Clock Override to 200. This increases the Fmax of the 8 Zen 5 CPU cores in CCD0 from 5450 MHz to 5650 MHz and it increases the Fmax of the remaining 24 Zen 5 CPU cores in CCDs 1, 2 and 3 from 5050 MHz to 5250 MHz. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to fine tune the VF curve for each core in a positive or negative direction. On Ryzen Threadripper 9000 processors, we can set the Curve Optimizer for all cores, per CCD or per core. Set Curve Optimizer to per CCD. This is the best approach for multi-CCD Ryzen Threadripper 9000 CPUs because each CCD has its own VFT curve and may have very different undervolting capabilities. We will set a negative curve optimizer. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Note that the curve optimizer settings are highly CPU specific, so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than copying mine. Set CCD0 to CCD3 curve optimizer sign to negative. Set CCD0 and CCD2 curve optimizer magnitude to 30. Set CCD1 and CCD3 curve optimizer magnitude to 40. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better, and all of our benchmark scores are higher. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5625 MHz. When running the OCCT CPU SSE stability test, the average CPU CCD0 effective clock is 5293 MHz, and the average CCD123 effective clock is 5085 MHz with 1.205 volts. The average CPU temperature is 95 degrees Celsius. 
The average CPU package power is 612.7 watts. And that's it. I want to thank you for watching, the Patreon and YouTube members for their support, and see you next time.